You're never going to get to where I want you to go or where God wants you to go without this. The Holy Spirit of God. And this, this is entitled, Why You Need the Holy Spirit of God. I think most churches do not understand the Holy Spirit and why they need it. The bottom line is this, you are incomplete without the Holy Spirit of God. God created you incomplete. And that incompleteness deliberately is the way that you come into this world. It's by God's design that you are incomplete when we come into this world. And it is by God's design that we start seeking and looking for something that will make us complete. Well, that something that will make us complete, that missing element, that missing dimension, that thing you are seeking for that you can't seem to find that will bring you what you want, is that missing element is the Holy Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God unites with your spirit, now there is a spirit in man. It's what makes you unique and different. It's our spiritual DNA, the spirit in man. It's what makes us all different from one another. And that spiritual DNA that's inside of you must mix with the Spirit of God. And a new creature in Christ starts to develop. That's why you need the Holy Spirit of God. And this, this, this publication will tell you why you need it, how to receive it, and what you can do about it in order, you know, what, what you need to do. What you need to do. And I'm telling you, you know, I know a, it was a big issue in my life as a teenager I came to the reality as a teenager that there must be more to life than this. I, I knew I was missing something as a teenager. And uh, I remember going to a party and just watching people doing what they were doing at a party as a teenager and thinking, man, if this is all there is to life, I am missing something. And thank goodness by God's grace, I had parents, I had teachers that came into my life that explained this point to me, that you are incomplete and that you need the indwelling presence of the Spirit of God to make your life work, to get you out of this, I hate life, I hate life mode. And it does take surrender, it takes trust. Like I said, that process of hating life began when you said, God, I'll take over from here. I'll send this to you free of charge and I won't sell your name to a mailing list. I won't beg you for money. I won't harass you. It's yours for the asking how to receive the Spirit of God. You need the Spirit of God. And that's what's really in your Bible.